Hello everyone! Today we are going to Jakarta, particularly West Jakarta, and I'm gonna show you some really good foods I grew up eating, and I'm together with my parents today. These foods are some of the best ones that we like to eat, and we usually go there at least monthly, once per month, because we're living not in West Jakarta anymore. So yeah, they're all Indonesian foods with really amazing flavors, so I'm excited to show you. I'll also show you what Indonesian traditional market look like. Let's go! Do you see that smoke? Amazing! So that's where they got all of the wok hay. So basically they're selling uh, different types of noodles. Then they cook it in a very high heat. So they induce that smokiness, that wok hay flavor. We usually like eating it plain, but they have seafood and pork options as well. See, oh, that's the noodle, egg noodle. This lady is the owner. My family loves this place. And we've been going here for like years. Vermicelli noodle, rice noodle, egg noodle, and all of the toppings over there. <laughs> oh my god. Look at how she's cooking it. It's so fast and quick. And here they're using duck eggs. Amazing. Oh, our food is here. So we're just ordering the plain one without any toppings. That's what my parents like. Permisi. Thank you. Tolong, tolong, jangan tabrak, tabrak. Eh, So here we got the plain fried noodle. Look at this. I would say the smell is eggy and very smoky. I'm gonna share with my mom. Come here. The portion is very fair. I wanna eat a lot today, so I'm not gonna eat these alone. Okay. Look at this. Mm. Mm. Wow. So the noodle that they use is an egg noodle and it's like not very thin but not very thick. It's coated with the oil and then the egg is so nice here. It has the crunch from the vegetables but the main thing is that it's just so smoky. The taste of the smoke hay here is wonderful. I haven't put any sambal or chili sambal here but actually it's already spicy. But if you want to eat more, you can use this. Thank you. And usually they will have like pickle to go along so it gives the freshness and acidity so you don't get sick of it too soon because it's quite oily but it's very good. So if you go here ask for the pickle, ask for the pork rind, they usually have it as well but if you come around this time, it's done. You won't get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You should have it. So we call this achar, and whenever we eat it like this, it gives such freshness to the dish. I love it. Mm. So my mom doesn't like chives or leek, so we don't use it, but I would recommend using it. Very good, very filling. We usually eat this for breakfast. Indonesian breakfasts are heavy. You love to get filled in the morning because a lot of us do really heavy work. Traveling, commuting, for example, even for office workers. Mm. Mm. Last bite. Mm. One portion of this is just about one dollar. So maybe one and a half, I would say. 
Moving on, I'm gonna show you around the area of the market because this is located inside of a market. Let's go. Thank you. Enak. <laughs> so the place is called Kuetiao Goreng Amoy and it's located in Dutamas Market, Pasar Dutamas. Let's go. Woo. Yeah. This is what a traditional market looks like in Indonesia. And I'm coming here before noon, so it's not uh, the busiest time of the day. Mm, fresh fruits and prejudices. My family used to uh, go here every single day because we used to live around this part of the town. And yeah, we love going here. We know many people, know all of the foods. Ooh, this is some traditional foods, traditional cakes. I love this product, by the way. Canned pork luncheon meat. It's like we call them maling, <laughs> which directly translates to thief. But it's basically pork spam. Yummy. Wow, the banana is huge. The coconut is also very huge. <laughs> oh, wow. So here are Indonesian most favorite thing. This is kerupuk. Kerupuk, or we call them crackers too in English. So this one is shrimp cracker. This is garlic one, another shrimp one. So it's like Indonesian chip or crisp. We eat it with every meal as an accompaniment. They're delicious. So I think this market has a very strong Chinese community presence, which is good. So we have different options here as well. It's so colorful. There's nothing fresher than the fruits in a traditional market. <laughs> this is our second place today. We're eating curry, Indonesian curry. So my mom ordered lontong tahu, which is fried tofu together with condensed rice. I'm going to order the curry. They're making a peanut sauce out of this. As many of you know, this is mortar and pestle. We call them chobek and ulekan. Ulekan is a thing that she's using to grind everything. It's using peanut, it's using um, Javanese sugar or palm sugar, chili, garlic. <laughs> so for lontong tahu, they're using condensed rice, which is rice that is condensed and then wrapped in banana leaf. They're also giving us um, tofu, fried tofu, and also potato. Different types of veggies. Most important part, the decadent thick peanut sauce. So this is chicken curry and they're using rice noodle for me. They have the coagulated chicken blood and then also some potatoes. So again, it's gonna be quite filling. What is different about this curry is that they're using a coagulated blood, chicken blood. <laughs> Thank you, I. Makan dulu ya. Iya. Yeah. Ah. Curry, soto, almost finished lontong tahu. Makasih, <laughs> Mbak. Let's eat. Mau? This is the lontong tahu that is almost ending. I'm just gonna try a little bit. The peanut sauce is decadent, thick, but it's actually quite fresh. Maybe because they're combined with the veggies here. A lot of these veggies, they are just quickly blanched. Nasi. They have potato as well that gives nuttiness, and then also fried tofu and the carbs itself, the lontong. Mm. So I'm gonna dig in with my curry over here. They are very packed. Okay, let's dig in. I'm gonna try the soup first. Ooh. It's full of spices. 
The coconut milk is very apparent, but there is also like cinnamon, cloves, kind of ginger as well. What is this? I think this is kapulaga, ya? Yeah? yeah. Cardamom. They have cardamom as well over here. And they are giving a fresh green chili as an accompaniment. But I feel like this is already quite heated. If you are a beginner in terms of spiciness level, don't do more than what you can. Oh, this is the most interesting part. Darah ayam or coagulated chicken blood. Mmm. I love it. It's like jelly in your mouth. It's a bit irony though, you might, it's an acquired taste. Mmm. Mmm, enough. The rice noodle is chewy. It is coated with the coconut milk based soup. Mmm. You can smell the fried shallots here. This is so yummy. Mm. The chicken. Mm. Good. The soup is already seeped through. The chicken is very well seasoned. It's tender. The soup is very good. The heart of this curry is the soup. Look at this dried fried shallots. Mm. This is very different with other curries that are known internationally. I would say if I need to compare it, I don't wanna. It's more similar to laksa curry, but the taste profile is also very different with laksa. This is our own type of curry. And it's not as thick as like Japanese or Indian curry. So Indonesia is also a home for so many types of curries. This curry does not represent the entire Indonesia. I like it. Earlier I wanted to eat this with the rice, but too late. They're using the rice noodle over here. It's still rice. I mean, Indonesians don't feel like they have eaten anything except they have eaten rice. <laughs> getting a bit spicy but I want to show you this the green chili so the way we use it we, we just combined it together with the soup like this and the entire dish will change its flavor mm. definitely spicier they have a lot of seeds but it's fresh green chili is always fresher than the red ones If you are confident about your spiciness tolerance, you should try putting it in. Mm. No. So this place is run by a very lovely lady. We've been going back here since she started Sopan, I think a few years back. And the food is very nice. I would definitely recommend you go around here if you're in West Jakarta area. So all of those three dishes was only below $10 and I'm also getting kerupuk. Terima kasih. Thank you. Come again. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm actually going to Jakarta Fair if you are interested to see what is in Jakarta's biggest annual event. Please go check my other video. I'm going there. Nah. Bye bye. Oh my god, kenyang pengen tidur.